The opposition leader is laying questions at the feet of the Chief Justice on the heels of an imbroglio involving the Prime Minister, the Attorney General and the Director of Public Prosecutions. Why issue a 10-page document out in the public domain on all over the social media? Why? Two big men, why? Why no? During a political meeting in St. Helena on Monday, Pasabi Sessa accused Ivarachi of teaming up with Dr. Keith Rowley and Reginald Armour against Roger Gaspard. Over the weeks, a public fallout has unraveled after Dr. Rowley said millions of dollars have been spent in rent for the DPP's office, which remains unoccupied. The building has been vacant due to security concerns and staff shortages, as cited by the DPP. Pisabi says the question whether the targeting of Gaspard was linked to his discontinuation of corruption charges against former UNC AG Anand Ramlogan, former UNC Senator Gerald Ramdeen, and the discontinuation of the Piaco Airport fraud case involving former Prime Minister Bastio Pandey. And I have no doubt that there may, may well be a campaign to smear and slander this man as they've done with anybody else they could not control. Pasabi Sessa said she was concerned to see the Chief Justice add his voice to the matter in a 10-page public statement. And for political analyst Dr. Bishnu Raghunath, the CJ's tone missed the mark. I think this matter has been clouded and the Chief Justice simply added fuel to a fire which was started by the Prime Minister and uh, supported by the Attorney General and taken the matter away from what was the, re the initial claim that the DPP was making. Pasabi says the claim that the PNM was undermining an independent institution. Now, CNC3 News attempted to question the Prime Minister on the issue on Monday. However, he said he will host a press conference on Thursday. Jesse Ramdew, CNC3 News.